St. Joseph of Fatima, Portugal, October 13, 1917. From May to October 1917, three shepherd children beheld apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary atop a small home oak tree. The children were siblings St. Francisco and Jacinta Marto, and their cousin, servant of God, Lucia dos Santos. During these visions, the seers were given secrets, were instructed to pray the rosary, and told to offer penance for the conversion of sinners. In the September apparition, Our Lady told them, Continue to pray the rosary in order to obtain the end of the war. In October, St. Joseph will appear with the child Jesus in order to bless the world. God is satisfied with your sacrifices. On September 27th, the eldest visionary, Lucia, was interviewed by Dr. Manuel Formigal, who is now venerable. Related here is a brief mention of St. Joseph in one of her responses. Dr. Formigal On the 13th of October, will Our Lady return? Lucia Yes, this time with St. Joseph and the Holy Child, and a little time afterwards the world will have peace. The war will soon end. Dr. Formigal Did Our Lady reveal anything more? Lucia she said that on the 13th of October, she would perform a miracle so that the people can believe. On October 13th, an estimated 70,000 people gathered at the apparition site, despite the torrential rains that morning. There were pilgrims, newspapermen, photographers, scoffers, and the curious. After Our Lady delivered her message to the children, she performed what is now known as the miracle of the sun. While the 70,000 gazed at the spectacle, the children were receiving further visions. Servant of God, Lucia, recounts in her memoirs. Our Lady disappeared into the immensity of the firmament. We saw beside the sun, Saint Joseph with the child Jesus, and Our Lady clothed in white with a blue mantle. Saint Joseph appeared to bless the world for he traced the sign of the cross with his hand. Here is St. Joseph, no words spoken. He stands with his family and makes a gesture of blessing with his hand. This is a powerful statement. He is the authority of the household, the domestic church. He is also patron of the universal church. Therefore, he has authority to give his blessing to the world. St. Joseph of Fatima, pray for us.